Okay, I, I just offered you a red Plo Koon and a yellow Cad Bane for a TK pack insert card. Are you crazy? Throw in a gold kit Fisto, and maybe I'll consider it. Come on, just do it. Just do it. Cut! Action! Jib left, jib right. Where's the best boy? Action! And cut! Scott, what is this all about? Are you having a great time hosting Comedy Bang Bang, but your true passion has always been directing, and you just got a job starring in and directing your very own feature film or something? Uh, yeah. How'd you know that? Weird. Yeah, I'm a weird guy. Uh, well, anyway, yes. Sullivan's Pictures has given me the opportunity to direct my passion project, Hunch. What is that? The story of the hunchback of Notre Dame treated in a modern superhero movie aesthetic or something? Yeah, stop doing that. <laughs> Sorry, lucky guess. Anyway, what this means for all of you is I'm gonna need to take some time off of Comedy Bang Bang to helm my tent pole. Well, what's gonna happen to the show? Do we all get to go on paid vacation? Something in the three to four month range on a tropical island or maybe exploring Europe or something? Aha, your luck's run out, Al. Nope, sorry, y'all have to still work here. But there's been a plan in place if I've ever had to miss a show. Meet my understudy and your new guest host, Jason Manzoukas! All right, what's up, jerks? I am literally next level excited to be here. I mean, come on, it's pretty much bonkers that I'm getting to guest host what I'm told is a TV show called Comedy Bang Bang. The couch is right over there. Have fun. Don't touch me. Hey, listen up, everyone. We don't have a celebrity guest for tonight's show. What? Colin Farrell had to cancel. He was watching a horror film last night, and now he's too scared to leave the house. All right, I'll do it. I'll be the celebrity guest. Wait, I, I thought you didn't have time to do the show. Yeah, I'm busy as all hell, Al, but it'll be great PR for my suspenser. We'll start the show after I make a trip to the little boy's room. <laughs> Why? Did you make chicken tacos before you got here, but you got so excited that you ate the chicken before it was cooked, and now you have the runs or something? Uh, I'll be in the bathroom. Tell props we're gonna need diapers. Lots of diapers. It's Comedy Bang Bang. Tonight's guests, Scott Opperman, legendary soul singer, Donnie Gary, and we welcome a very special guest host. Featuring me, Weird Al Yankovic, and your host, Jason Mansukas. Hey there, welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. We've got a great show for you tonight. Talk show host and film director Scott Ackerman is here, as well as legendary soul singer Donnie Gary. <laughs> I'm your guest host, Jason Manzoukas. And tonight's episode is a real can't miss. It's also a can't piss. <laughs> Seriously, do not go to the bathroom. You'll miss all the jokes. Let's say hello to our best friend, Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> I didn't see that coming at all. That was gorgeous, Al. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Jason. Hey, you want to take this quiz from Seventeen Magazine? Maybe it'll help us get to know each other better. I'm all in, buddy. Let's do this. All right. Um, coffee or tea? Tea. Tea or water? Water. Water or daughters? Daughters. Bones or bones? Bones. Show business or no business? Showbiz, baby. Bubbles or troubles? Bubbles. Tops or mops? Surprisingly? Mops. Winter or splinter? Winter. Health or wealth? Health. Cups or prenups? Cups. People or sheeple? People. Parks or parks? Uh, parks. And that's the end of the quiz. Hang on, Al, isn't Seventeen Magazine for teenage girls? Oh, I, I didn't say the full name of the magazine. It's Seventeen Unrelated and Sometimes Rhyming Questions Magazine. Al, I love you with all my heart, but right now, I hate your guts. We'll check back with you later. Okay, you've seen him sit in this chair. Now let's see how he looks in that couch. Please welcome my first guest, the former host of this show, Scott Ackerman. Hey, world, will you welcome hey, Scott Ackerman? Hey, Scott, hey, Scott sit your butt on the couch. Oh, I will. What an invitation. Thank uh, you so much. Scott Ackerman, how are you? I'm great. Hi, Jason. So nice of you to have me on. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. Mikasa e Sukasa. I don't know what you're saying right I'm now. I'm just saying... My house is your house, Speak my English, mother <laughs> <laughs> Scott, I have a hunch you're here promoting a movie. That's true. I'm promoting my new movie, Hunch. So I was right. I thought you were making sure I nailed it. Set Al, what did I tell you? He's here promoting a movie, right? When you say, I have a hunch, have a hunch you stress me. hunch, I have a hunch it kind of makes me think that you're trying right. to set me up to make, you know, a funny joke into my movie, which is called Hunch. Your movie's called the Hunch? Yes. It shouldn't be. It's like, ugh. It, I mean, people don't. People think it's like the Hunchback of Notre Dame. That's what it like is. An ugly person. <laughs> no, that's what it's, it's an about. Ugly person's movie. Yeah, that's. But I mean, you know. Are you playing it? Yeah. Oh, then it makes sense. So Scott, what made you want to become a talk show host in the first place? Mm, great question, Jason. And I should know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it all started in the third grade. The teacher was talking, and suddenly a question popped into my head. Uh, timidly, I raised my hand, but once I asked it, well, I never looked back. Um, I mean, I think we have to know. Scott, what was that first question? It was, do you mind if I go to the bathroom? I just peed my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, and the questions didn't stop there. Mm -hmm. uh, don't you think other kids should be expelled for making fun of an eighth grader who wears diapers? Wow. What do you mean most butt cracks are vertical? Sad. <laughs> and of course, Mom, will you stop telling everyone I'm a bad kisser? <laughs> That's not very good. No. So, Scott, you produced the Between Two Ferns series. Guilty as charged? Including the one with President Obama. Uh, Mr. O, as I call him. Well, I can't imagine he likes that. He doesn't. 
Anyway, when you were there, did you get any cool souvenirs at the White House? Yeah, I mean, I guess I did get one thing, uh, this. Whoa, Scott! That's the red telephone. That's like a direct line between Moscow and the president to be used only in cases of emergency. Really? Let's try it and see who picks up. <laughs> well, I don't... Hello? Yeah, who's this? I know I called you, but who's this? No, you say first. No. You say first, dingus! Whoa. You know what, you jerk? Fine. Yeah, I don't care. Our missiles are coming right back at you. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. I'm really scared. Not. All right, our missiles will be there soon. See you later, dickwad. Scott, what did you just do? I don't know. I panicked. I didn't know what to say. Scott Ackerman, you pick up that phone, you call them back, you tell them you're sorry. Fine. Hello? No, what do you want? I'm sorry that I said all this. I said I'm sorry for what I said earlier. Please don't launch the missiles at us. OK, fine. Bye. We're all good. Fine. Now give me that. What? Hang on, this isn't even plugged in. Jason, you just got Scott Guy. That's stupid. That's a dumb name. Now, Scott, someone in your position, do you feel like you need to give back? No, I think we all have a responsibility to do as much as we can. And actually, that reminds me, uh, 20 years ago, I was watching television, uh, TV, and uh, I saw a commercial that concerned starvation in Africa. Mm. And I found out that for the price of a cup of coffee a day, I could help one starving child, which oh. is what I did. Really? And actually, the kid that I helped, Kwame, he actually came to the U.S. to meet me, and he's here right now. I could bring him out if you guys. Oh my that's God! A good let's idea. get him out of here. Kwame! Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! My goodness, Scott! I am so happy to see you. Ah, thank you for the 20 years of Java, buddy. Mm. What's that? Mm. 20 years of Java? What does that mean? Oh yes, for the 20 years of money that you have sent me, it has allowed me to buy my very own cup of coffee every single day. <gasps> Look oh. at that! Isn't that wonderful? Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, man. You've been using my coffee money to buy your coffee yes. every single day? Yes. What's such a lifesaver? Trust me, I am such a nasty bitch without my coffee. <laughs> eh. No, no, mm. no. You shouldn't be buying coffee. You should be buying, like, food and, you know. Oh, no, but you're sending him coffee money, right? I mean, yes, okay. Technically, I could have bought a malaria net for my sister because the mosquito's bitter and she did die of malaria. But how would I even be able to think of something like that if I didn't have my wakey-wakey juice? Okay, this okay. is terrible. I'm cutting you off. You're cutting me off? Cut you off, Kwame. Why would you do this? All Get right. out of here. You know what? I have to take a big runny dump anyway, okay? Hmm. Well, I guess I learned my lesson. Never help those in need. Oh, I'll go you one better. Never help anyone. Yeah. People are the worst. Well, that's the end of my questions. Oh, great. Well, thank you, Jason. This has been really fun. Don't you think? <laughs> my plan to be the host of this show is working perfectly. Once I unearth the treasure that's buried beneath this very stage, I'll be the richest man in Hollywood. Uh, wh what'd you say, Jason? Uh, I said we'll be right back. Okay, now's the point in the show where we let Weird Al ask the guest a question. Really? Finally, I, I, I get to ask Scott a personal question? Hey, sure. Well, the tables certainly have turned, haven't they, Scott? They've turned so far, I can't reach my fork or my napkin. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Well, actually, now that you're the guest, you have to answer Al's question. It's in the guest contract that you signed. Okay, what to ask, what to ask. Oh, uh, what's it like being so tall? You know, um, who's your favorite Spice Girl? Oh, what is the purpose of life? What is, what is the purpose of my life? Do I even exist? Do any of us even exist? Al, buddy, we're gonna need to get to this question, okay? We're running out of time. Okay, I got it. Scott, can I borrow your car? No. Okay. Great, that was fun. Yeah, right? great, thanks, Al. Great question, Al. It does sound racist, though. Welcome back to Comedy Bang Bang. I'm here chatting with renowned filmmaker Scott Ackerman. You know, guys, I figured since I'm hosting the show today, I might introduce a new segment. It's called, It's a Great Day for Feng Shui. It's a great day for Feng Shui. For those of you who don't know, Feng Shui is the art of moving stuff around. Taking this doohickey and moving it over there, taking this crap and throwing it over there, yada, 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 you get it. Today, why don't we start by moving Al's desk all the way over there? My desk, but that's where I rest my elbows. Yeah, well, your knees will take up resting duties, pal. Boys, take it away. <laughs> yes, there it is. After all this time, you've found it, you beautiful bearded bastard. And nobody's the wiser. Hey, uh, Jason. Yeah? The reason we put Al's desk there is so it could cover up the red X-shaped wine stain that was on the floor when we moved into the studio. Mm -hmm. But I like it over here, Scott. I've got so much room. Look how far I can stretch my arms! <laughs> See? Weird Al likes it. All right, Al, but uh, I'm not comfortable seeing your lower half. Would you mind moving back behind the desk? And that wraps up It's a Great Day for Feng Shui. It's a great day for Feng Shui. We'll be right back. I like Al's legs. They're too thick and manly for me. What? No! You 
you're kidding me. No! Welcome back. Coming up on the show, we've okay, got... Okay, bye. What's up, Scott? That was the studio. Russell Crowe just dropped out of my movie. Apparently, he watched a horror movie last night, and now he's too scared to leave the house. Hmm. That's happening a lot lately. Well, what are you gonna do now? With him out of the picture, the studio just angled it. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that, Scott. But, hey, at least I moved Al's desk. All right, let's get to our next guest. He's legendary soul singer, Donnie Gary. Oh, yeah. Hello, guys. Thank you so much for having me. A lot of beautiful people in the house tonight. You guys got that funny feeling in your stomach. You guys are holding hands. I know what that is. Do you guys know what that is? I bet you do. That's love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's love for you, baby. Thank you. Oh, wow. wow. Thank you so much. Amazing. Was, wow. That was you know what that is? That's some baby making music right Isn't there. Isn't it? Thank you very <laughs> yeah, much. I think yeah. uh, someone made a baby in me while I was listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> you better be careful. They'll come around when I'm singing. That was yeah. just fantastic. Now, Donnie, a song like that, is that just come to you like in the shower? Where does your inspiration come from? Well, you know, I, I saw two people holding hands and I thought, what is that? Well, that's a way that's to, love. That's exactly oh, I was right. going to say it's a way to transmit germs. Really quickly, I do want to address something uh, that you may have seen about me in the news uh, that I'm currently in trouble for tax evasion. Oh, oh no. I haven't yes. seen that, no. Yeah. That is um, awful. Sorry to hear it's that. It's okay, it's okay. A lot of people say there's no coming back from being $5 million in debt, but uh, that's no thing for Donnie Gary, baby. Sure, no, sure. No, no, no. In fact, uh, a lot of this recent misfortune has inspired a lot of beautiful new music. Oh, uh, would you please I would us? love to. Hit it, baby. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Girl, you know how every time you go to McDonald's, they charge you $1.50 for a soda? Well, did you know that if you hang on to that soda cup and you bring it back with you every time you go to McDonald's, you can have all the free soda you can drink. I reuse McDonald's cups, yeah. I don't ever pay for soda. I'm talking infinite refills of fountain soda, yeah. I mix Fanta and box root beer, two sodas for the price of one, yeah. It's moldy, but I wash it out. Thank you. Wow, Thank wow. you very much. Amazing. Thank you. What, can I ask, what is what is that on your suit? Oh, uh, I am returning this suit uh, after the show. Good so for please you. don't touch it. This couch isn't dirty, right? I'm, uh, well, no. Scott's been sitting on it. Yeah. Um, you guys want to hear another song? Yeah. Hit it, baby. Yes. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Girl, you know how people always leave their cell phone charges behind in their hotel room and the lobby collects them in a lost and found? But did you know there's no rule saying you can't lie about all those chargers being yours? I got 28 cell phone chargers for you, baby. If you need to charge your phone, you can do it on one of my 28 cell phone chargers, baby. Unfortunately, they're only for Boost Mobile phones. Boost Mobile, no contract required, prepaid minutes, yeah. Boost Mobile is my favorite mobile provider. Thank you. Oh, wow. wow. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Another just like home run. I think I am going to find a woman who has a bunch of old phones that she needs to continue to use. Or, if you don't mind me saying, a bunch of women who need one cell phone charger. You know what? Hey, that's, that's what optimism. I'm thinking about. You know what I mean? If I was at a gangbang. I'm listening. I haven't had a gangbang since 79. Oh, um, wow. That's a long time. And wow. That is quite a long time. In the late 80s, I did have sex with a salmon. Oh. oh wow. um, and yeah. it was not good. It was Her more of a bagel with locks on top of it. Oh, oh wow. So, okay, I wouldn't consider that to be having sex with a salmon. That's just you. A bagel. Hey. Listen, you can say it's not sex, but we were in a relationship for four years after that. There you see? All right, hit it, baby. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Girl, you know how Disneyland, they always charge too much for food and snacks? Well, did you know that if you buy a bunch of diapers and fill them up with barbecue, you can sneak as much food into the park as you want by just pretending you're carrying a sack full of dirty diapers? I got a sack full of fake dirty diapers for you, baby. Full of diapers filled with barbecue. There's enough for two. We can eat them on the haunted mansion. Watch out for the ghosts. Yikes, that was scary. Should have seen it coming. It's called the haunted mansion. After all, there are ghosts in here. Oh, I 
Also got a 50 pound trash bag full of stolen McDonald's soda. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah, lipstick actually makes for a pretty good snack. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, Scott, where did Jason go? Eureka! Scott, look. Jason's like Courtney Love. He's in hole. <laughs> look at this. Oh, my God. It's Old Long Johnson's treasure. Archaeologists always suspected it might be buried underneath our studio. Well, why didn't you listen to them? Because I was too busy asking them what they thought about the Indiana Jones film series. Oh, what did they say? They noticed some flubs. Oh. You idiot! The only reason I took a job guest hosting your crap-ass TV show was so that I could get close to this treasure. <laughs> and now, it's mine. Yeah! Ah. <sighs> is that what I think it is? Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. It's the same thing that was in the briefcase in Pulp Fiction. Pirate treasure! <laughs> Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Boy, Al, what a weird day. First, I lose millions of dollars on my dream project, and then some guy I barely know finds millions of dollars in treasure. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. What a weird day. <laughs> no. Um, hey, Mansukas, <laughs> that's a lot of money you got there. What if we told you about a very exciting investment opportunity in the world of showbiz? <laughs> I'm listening. See, my film is going to be like the new Titanic, but not in the sinking ship way, in the successful movie way. Oh, wow. Well, how can you be so sure? Let's just say I have a hunch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Scott, your movie is dumb. Thanks a lot, Ackerman. You screwed me! God, who do I know who can loan me tens of millions of dollars to help re-edit my film? Wait, Slow Joey! Hell no! You slept with my dream girl, Emily Ratajkowski! Oh, yeah! The wolf's dead. Absolutely. <laughs>